move. Hello and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Now today I actually wanted to do something a bit Christmassy, hence the big fluffy jumper and the Christmas candle burning in the background. So yeah, today I was going to open up and have a little go with this here. So this is the Revolution Advent Calendar. Now I'm gonna hide this because it tells you like a rough guide of what's in it. So I've not looked at it properly yet because I wanted this to be like a bigger surprise as humanly possible. This is the calendar. Now I bought this for £35 from Superdrug. So I'm very excited to have a look in here. I've heard a lot of really good reviews about it actually. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna open all 25 days and then use as much of it as possible on my face. So I've done my base, I've got foundation, concealer, and powder on and my brows done. This is actually the first makeup advent calendar I have ever ever had so I'm super excited to get in and have a go with everything. Get off. I'm gonna take everything out and then once we can see everything we've got I'm gonna start using it all. So yeah, number one is this one here so I'm gonna guess this is a lip product. Now this is a lip gloss okay so this is a lip gloss in the shade Adore now, I'm not going to do any swatches just yet because I'll probably do them later once I've got everything. That is a really nice shade. I'm not a massive lip gloss... I'm not a massive lip gloss person really, but that's because I don't like them when they're too sticky. So I'll give that a go and see what I think to that. So next is number two. I'm going to guess another lip product. can't really think of anything that's this size. Okay. So this is a brow gel. Um, I haven't actually set my brows today, so that's perfect. Number three. Ooh. Okay, so this is a liquid eyeshadow. It just looks like this. It's a super pretty color. I don't actually have any liquid eyeshadows, I think, so I'll definitely be trying that out at some point. Um, day number four is this one here. I'm gonna guess a lip product. I think it is. Number four is this here. So this is the lipstick in the shade Adore. Was the lip gloss Adore? Yes. Okay, so you get the lipstick and the lip gloss in the same shade. So yeah, it's just a matte lipstick. Just looks like this. Day number five. It's very light. I'm gonna guess it's a pencil, maybe a lip liner. But this is an eyeliner. It's just black, I'm guessing. Yeah, just a black pencil eyeliner just looks like this so next is day number six which is this one here okay so this box literally weighs nothing so it makes no noise I'm starting to wonder if there's actually anything in here uh, okay okay it's a scrunchie now i love scrunchies i never wear normal bubbles i've always got scrunchie in my hair if my hair's up so we'll definitely get a lot of use out of that Day number seven, so this one here, I'm gonna guess another lip product. So this is another lipstick and this is in the shade Cupid. Just looks like this, it's like a pinky nude color. So next is number eight, which is this bigger one here. Just want to say that this packaging is so pretty. It's like all black and pink and you've got all the stars on it and stuff. It's just, it's really nice. Ooh. Okay, so this is just a little eyeshadow palette it's like i'd say it's like a travel size one it's really pretty so these are just the shades day number nine it's like a cheek product maybe ah. okay so next we have a blusher it just looks like this so it's just like a pinky it's like a pinky corally kind of color super pretty and now day number 10 so this is another lip gloss, it's just in like a, a squeezy tube um, and this is in the shade pink. Again, not a massive lip gloss fan but I'll definitely give it a go, Maybe, you never know, it might change my view on lip gloss forever. Okay, so day 11 is another pencil, um, so this is an eyebrow pencil, okay. Oh god, I can't get in it. There we go. Okay, so it's like a brownie colour, I'll show you that now because I've already done my brows, so. You won't be able to see me use this today. Day number 12. What are you? 
Okay, so this is the Revolution Eye Primer. Okay, I haven't actually primed my eyes. Like I've got a bit of concealer just chucked over them. Day number 13 is a super thin one. So I'm gonna guess a pencil. We haven't actually had a lip pencil yet. So maybe a lip pencil. Move. Oh, so this is a brow crayon. Okay. Oh, is it like one of those wax crayons? Yes, okay. I've never actually tried one of these. But it's like one of those wax crayons. It's like super tacky. Day number 14. I'm gonna guess another face product. This is a highlighter, Revolution highlighter. Just looks like this. I don't know if that's gonna be a bit too dark for me. I can give it a go though. If not, it makes a really nice eyeshadow. Day number 15. Oh, this is another liquid eyeshadow. This is a more glittery one. The other one was a bit more, it was a shimmery eyeshadow. This is more of a glittery one, but that's super pretty. This is in the shade Rose Gold. Probably get a lot more use out of this one than I will the other one. Day number 16 is another lip gloss. So this is in the shade Cupid. So again, I think we've got the matte lipstick and the lip gloss to go with it. Day number 17, I've got a first brush. Okay, so these are like mini, little mini brushes. So this is like an angled one. It's quite nice, it's really soft. Day number 18 is another gloss. So this is just a clear lip gloss. I really want to know if these are really sticky or not. I'm definitely excited to give one of these a go. Day number 19 looks like it's gonna be another cheek or face product. This is the Revolution Baking Powder. Again, it's probably a bit too dark for me, but I can try it, you never know. Day number 20 is another teeny one. This might be a brush, another brush maybe. Okay, so this is another little brush. So this is like a flat one, so maybe like a flat concealer brush. Or like a placing eyeshadow kind of brush. Day number 21. Oh, finally a lip liner, yes. I can't see a shade name, but it's like that pinky nudie colour, so it'll probably work with both the lip kits that we've got. Number 22. Oh, we have another brush. So this is like a face brush. So you'd probably use this for like contour or blush or something. I'd probably use it for contour. 23, Christmas Eve Eve. Ah, okay, it's a little mirror smart. That's actually a really cute little mirror. And then Christmas Eve, what do you get? another brush oh I don't really know what I'd use that for and then finally Christmas day what do you get I'm gonna guess this is like a full-size eyeshadow palette yeah no I can't actually see it yet so this is what it looks like this is the reloaded midnight palette oh, okay that's super pretty actually I actually really like that that's really nice so you've got like your more blue tones on the bottom, purple tones in the middle, and then like your more mauve pinky tones on the top. That's super pretty, I really like that. I do have quite a few Revolution products and I do actually really like their stuff. So I'm definitely excited to play with this. Okay, so this is everything we got. So we've got two different eyeshadow palettes, a mini and a full size, the two different liquid eyeshadows, the eye primer, three cheek and face products. We've got a powder, a highlighter and a blush, a brow pencil and a brow gel, an eyeliner, a brow crayon, a scrunchie, a cute little mirror, four little brushes, lip liner, two matte lipsticks, so the shade Cupid and the shade Adore, two lip glosses to match, and then finally two of the squeezy tube glosses, so one in the shade pink and one in clear. But now that we've looked through the entire calendar, I'm going to start applying it to my face. Now there's no mascara and there's no bronzer, I'll just have to use my own for that. Since there's no bronzer, I'm just going to use my own, so I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced one, but I'm going to test out this brush. Now this brush is really nice, it is quite small. Now I am bronzing in a minute, not, I don't really contour much anymore. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of buffing that round quite loosely just so that it kind of gets it more where my bronzer goes rather than just my contour. I'm just gonna bronze up my forehead as well. 
So just the same thing, I'm just kind of swirling it around loosely just so it's more blown out. I'm just going to take a teeny bit on this brush and kind of like pinch it a bit to make it a bit thinner and I'm just going to run that down the edges of my nose and then just buff it out. And now I'm going to use the blush so it just looks like this. Yeah, I'm not going to use that brush again just because I feel like it's a bit smaller like a big brush to do my blush it. So I'm just going in with an angle brush. I don't know how pigmented it is so I don't know how much to go in with. Okay, very pigmented is the answer to that question. I'm just going in with my foundation brush to kind of tone that down a bit. That was a lot more pigmented than I expected, which is not a bad thing now that I know. And now I'm just going in with the teeniest amount of blush. I'm just going to pop a little bit on my nose just because I think it looks cute, especially in winter. And now... I'm still on the edge of about whether to use this or not. Super gorgeous shade. But I just don't know if it's too, too dark for me. I don't know actually. Might not be too bad. We'll give it a go. Okay, I really like that actually. It's also not like super blinding. It's quite a natural highlighter, which I really like more like everyday makeup and that's really pretty i like that so just gonna put that everywhere pretty much keep it about chin nose above my eyebrows now i'm quickly just gonna go in with the brow gel because i've not actually set my eyebrows today so yeah it's just a really cute little brush Okay, so I'm gonna take the eye primer and just apply that all over my lid. So I'm gonna go in with that weird little foundation brush and use that to just kind of spread that around and blend that in. Okay, so it's like a super tacky base, which I know a lot of people really like. Now I'm a bit weird when it comes to bases and I do actually like to set mine a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the teeniest amount of the baking powder and just set that a teeny bit. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the big eyeshadow palette today. So this is Reloaded Midnight. And to start with, I'm just going to go in with this shade here. So I'm not going to do anything too long-winded or fancy today just because I don't want to... I don't want this video to be too long. So yeah, so I'm just going to take this shade here, this one here. So I'm just going to load up my brush with that and then pop that all the way through my crease. Starting from the outer corner and going all the way in. Now the only thing this palette doesn't really have that I wish it did is like a deeper matte shade to kind of deepen that again. So I am just going to use a little bit of this one here in the top right corner. I'm just going to use that same brush and just start to blend that through the crease and on like the outer third. So far so good with these eyeshadows, they're super pigmented, really easy to work with and to blend out. Um, I've not used any of the dark shades or any of the shimmer shades yet though, so that'll be the true test I reckon. So I'm just going to use this shade here and I'm going to start to apply that on my lid. Um, and I'm just going to use the brush that came in the calendar as well. I'm going to try it dry and then if I don't like that I'll probably spray it with some setting spray. Yeah, okay, we'll try setting spray. Okay, that's better. Now I've got some fallout, so I'm just going to use that brush to kind of just try and sweep it away. And now I'm just going to use a little bit of the shade on the top middle. And I'm going to use that to blend the glitter into the colour on the shirt on the 
crease. This is more of a shimmery eyeshadow to a glittery. So it'll just help blend the shimmer and the matte together. And then finally going in with the two crease shades just to blend it all together. I'm also just going to run those two shades along my lower lash line as well. Really blown out, really messy and just smoke my lower lash line. Now quickly just to tie the eye look with the face, I'm going to go in with the highlighter and just apply that to my inner corner of my brow bone. I do this with pretty much every single look I do. I feel like it just really brings everything together. This highlighter is gorgeous. It's like pinky, but then it's got like really nice yellow gold like reflex in. So this is how we're looking. So like I said earlier, these are the two eyeshadow, uh, liquid eyeshadow colors. So I'll just swatch them both on the back of my hand for you. So this one is the shade pink. It's actually really pretty. It's just not very often I'd ever wear colors that bright on my eyes. So they do need a couple of layers just to like be really, really pigmented, but that's fine with me. So that is rose gold on top. Super stunning. So I'm just going to go in with that black eyeliner pencil and just tight line my eyes with this. I'm also just running this on like the outer third of my lid along my lash line. And then like a minuscule wing and with that brow my arch arched slanted brow brush I'm just gonna smudge that a bit so I'm just gonna quickly chuck some scar on and I'll be right back is the finished eye look super soft but I think it's super pretty It'd be like really nice bridal makeup or something it's not very Christmassy but Purples aren't really a Christmas colour to me, it's more reds, but there you go. For lips, we've only got the one lip liner, so let's try that out. So now for lips, we have the two lipsticks. So we've got Cupid and Adore. Okay, so this one here is the Cupid combo. So this is the lipstick and the lip gloss. And then this is Adore combo. So that's the lipstick and the lip gloss. Now, which would go better with the eye look? I think I'm actually gonna go in with the Adore combo today. Now the formula of this lipstick is gorgeous and it's super matte, it doesn't feel super drying though which is really nice. Now for the lip gloss, like I said at the beginning of this video I'm not a massive lip gloss fan so we'll see how I get on with these. Well, that's actually really nice. It's not super sticky, which is the issue that I have with lip it with lip glosses. I think that lipstick goes so nicely with this eyeshadow look. Um, I'm super happy with how that turned out. Now I do want to kind of try these lip glosses as well because I've got a feeling it'll be a very different formula. But I'm also like scared of ruining it because I'm really happy with how it looks right now. We'll apply a little bit, just a teeth. So I'm just going to go with the clear gloss. I'm just going to apply a little bit to the middle. Now this is a little bit stickier, but it's still not like super sticky. I could still wear this without it driving me crazy. So I'm actually impressed with these glosses. I'm really happy with those. And that, that combo is beautiful. I'm super happy with that. So that is everything in this advent calendar. So the only thing I didn't actually physically like try out was the little eyeshadow palette, but I'm gonna guess the formula will be the same. And the eyebrow products, 
that I didn't actually use the liquid eyeshadows, which I'm really annoyed at myself that I forgot to use it. Um, but I have got them swatched on my hand. So yeah, I just should have put that down as a base and then put these eyeshadows on the top, on the lid. Um, but I will definitely try it out in another video and when I do, I'll then link the video I do it in, in the cards. Just that side, I think. Overall, I'm super impressed with this advent calendar. I think it's got such a nice range. It's like, it's got your nice colors. It's got the full lip combos, which I really like that it doesn't just have random lipsticks or whatever. It's got like sets, which I really like. And yeah, it's got a great range of stuff. Some face products, eye products, lip products, brushes, brows. It's got a bit of everything. So I'm super impressed. It's the first advent calendar I've ever had and I love it, it's great. So yeah, let me know if you enjoy this kind of video because if you do, I'll spend more of my money and get some more calendars. And if you do want me to, let me know what calendar you'd like to see so that I can get that for you guys and test that out for you so that you don't have to waste your money on it if, you, if you're not sure on it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Also hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I upload. And yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.